Okay, a job well done. It is summertime and we have a summer fragrance from Corner Barcelona. It's called Helix. Listen to this. Bergamot, clary sage, peach, marina cord, orange flower, lily of the valley, Virginian cedarwood, vetiver from Haiti, and musk. This is going to be an aquatic citrusy fragrance with some touches of florals and this earthy tonality in the dry down. I think this is a fantastically timed release from the brand. Thank you. Thank you, folks, at Corner Barcelona. <laughs> I love so many of their fragrances, like El Born, and um, there's just too many to name. And a lot of them are pretty heavy, but we also have hits like Bobo, and we have Sal y Limon, and we have a lot of really nice, fresh fragrances. So the brand knows how to do fresh very well. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the smell of this one very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Helix, which is a great summertime fragrance from the brand. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. There were some issues with the shipping and then the package was resent to me through no fault of the brands whatsoever. I think it's just, you know, it's a, a, a chaotic season nowadays, but nevertheless, I'm going to tell you all about the smell and I think this is a fantastic fragrance, but before I dive into the review, I do want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content and if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So again, the citrus, the aquatic accord, and like I said in the opening, you are going to get the Italian bergamot, the clary sage. It's a little aromatic. The peach is not too heavy handed in this one. And of course, when you're going to make comparisons to other peach dominant fragrances, you'll see that this one pales in comparison in terms of its fruity vibe. But this is a bright, citrusy, refreshing, uplifting, energizing type of a fragrance. And of course, if the aesthetic of the box didn't give it away with that blue color, it just reminds me of the ocean. It is such a fantastic summertime fragrance. Anyway, I'll talk to you about the smell in just a second. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. Now the opening of this fragrance, it's very bright, citrusy and refreshing. Now, let me just get this out of the way so I don't have to wait another two, three, four minutes to mention it. I think I fell in love with this one because when I first smelled it, it reminded me of Creed Erolfa. I don't know what it is. I think it's the freshness, that aquatic accord, it's a little salty, there's peach. I know Erolfa has melon in it and I don't think this one was trying to be Erolfa. I just think something clicked in my brain that reminded me of Erolfa. And as soon as that happened, I was like, yeah, this is going to be a great summertime fragrance for me. This is going to be high up in my rotation, which is, I knew one of the reasons why I had to get myself a bottle of it because I initially fell in love with the smell. So this fragrance does open up with a little bit of a fruitiness, but again, it's not explicitly peach. In the note breakdown, yeah, you're going to see peach, but it doesn't smell saccharin. It's not bursting at the seams in terms of its sweetness. It's not overly ripe is what I'm trying to say. So it's fresh. You do have that aromatic and aquatic accord in here. It's a little salty, but not overwhelmingly so. And as far as that floral tonality is concerned, the orange flower, again, it doesn't smell like a heavy handed orange blossom. It's not like a Sevilla Low by Lourdes and Parfumeur. And the Lily of the Valley just smells clean. Uh, vetiver from Haiti. I'm not getting too much of a vetiver vibe in here. Even when I'm trying to compare it to some of the fresher vetivers in my collection, like Original Vetiver by Creed, you're not going to get a lot of it in here. Cedarwood, yeah, I can believe that. And the musk, I think, is very clean. I think it's working in harmony or in tandem with the Lily of the Valley. So this one is a very fresh, clean, slightly salty, aquatic, aromatic fragrance with a touch of fruitiness that is going to leave you racking your brains trying to find out what it is until you look at the note breakdown and you're like, Oh, peach. Yeah, that makes sense, right? But initially, you're like, is it melon? Is it something else? If you're a fan of fragrances like Erolfa by Creed, please try Helix. It's different. It's not the same. It's not trying to be Erolfa, but it's going to put you in the mindset of fragrances like Erolfa. I love this one. Great casual fragrance. You can dress it up. 
it smells pretty high quality as far as the raw materials are concerned and i love now that i have some variety from the brand that i can wear in place of fragrances like bobo or sal y limon there are so many from the brand that i really love wearing right around this time of the year so i'm really excited that i have the opportunity to add this one to my collection the brand just makes a lot of great summertime fragrances Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this fragrance is unique, save the comparison that I made to Erolfa by Creed. But again, different, uh, just putting you in the mindset of what to expect as, as far as the smell is concerned. Longevity on this one is about seven hours. Projection was really good for the first hour and a half. It radiated beyond an arm's length. Elbows length scent right around hour five, five and a half. A skin scent right around hour seven. Uh, versatility on this one, perfectly unisex, dress it up or dress it down, summertime type of a fragrance. So I'd wear this one in the hotter weather. And I think this one would appeal to any demographic. As far as the presentation is concerned, I really like it. This is just a sleeve, by the way. Um, but I think the bottle is really, really nice. And I love these light colored wooden caps for some of the more summery offerings of the brand. My final verdict on this fragrance is Helix is a wonderful summertime and summer ready perfume. Please try, get yourself a sample of it if you can. Um, I would really suggest you trying this one first uh, before committing to a blind buy or something like that. I know way too many people like to blind buy fragrances, uh, myself included, but there's just so much out there on the market. But if anything that I said appeals to you, or if it sounds like it would be the type of fragrance that would cater to your personal taste, I hope you can try it soon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit the bell, give it a thumbs up. I love you all. We'll see you tomorrow for the new episode. Bye.